What's happening, everyone? It's Abdali here, bringing you guys the full breakdown for the newly announced game, Paper Mario The Origami King. In this video, we're gonna show you guys the full trailer that was released on Nintendo's official YouTube, and we're gonna take it a step further and show you guys all the hidden details that you missed simply by looking at all of the awesome pictures and other videos on the Japanese and the English websites. There's so much on board to get you pumped up for this game. Now, if you guys are pumped up for the game, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, join me, Turn on notifications because we're going to be playing this game as soon as it comes out in July. I am so pumped for it. Anyway, so what we're going to be doing right now is I'm going to cut away to the actual trailer and then we're going to break it down and then we're going to take a look at the awesome site. So let's take a look at that and uh, let's go. Enjoy. Okay, there we go. My goodness, how cool does that look? Oh my gosh. All right, anyway, there's there's a lot to cover. And there's a lot of things that aren't in the actual, uh, the entire trailer that I really just want to go over right now. So without further ado, let's jump into the breakdown and then we're going to jump into the sites that give us a lot more insight. So uh, right off the bat, okay, so we see over here that there is uh, some sort of weird origami thing that's happening, right? The title of the game is The Origami King. So uh, the, the backstory is that there's this one character named Ali and he pretty much wants to rule the entire kingdom. And what he does is he wants to turn everyone into paper origami. So that's kind of great. And then uh, that's kind of what this uh, this little scene over here is. You can see the the very iconic uh, little sun on the very bottom, like circa Mario 64. Looks awesome, right? So that's what happened over there. We'll also see over here that uh, Bowser has been turned into some sort of like little origami canvas. And he's kind of hopping around too, which is really interesting. So uh, like, I think this is kind of like where uh, my predictions is that Ollie, which is the the main antagonist, he broke into Bowser's castle and with his minions over here and he's like taking everyone and turning them into paper origami and they started off with attacking Bowser and turned him into this little cardstock thing. So that's kind of what I'm thinking there. You'll see over here that the shy guy turns into Ollie himself. That's his name. We'll see in the site a little bit later. An origami plot. Uh, so this is exactly what it does. It unfolds. So what he does is he grabs all these ribbons 
Uh, and I'll show you guys over here. He grabs all these ribbons in whatever the Mushroom Kingdom over here. And then we'll find out later in this video that the ribbons actually wrap around Peach's castle. And he's going to take Peach's castle and put it all the way on top of a mountain. Which is kind of like wherever his lair is. So, yeah, there's really nothing to see over here. I mean, it looks pretty interesting. Like a little plaza, some different shops. I'm sure we're going to be able to walk the streets over here and level up and grab some gear and whatnot. So really nothing to worry about over there. So he wraps up the entire castle, launches it. Shy Guy comes over here and uh, pretty much saves everyone. Good job. Round of applause for Shy Guy. He totally helped out. And then we're also noticing a ton of, ton of different things. So uh, yeah, here we go. So that was a, that was like a paper mache Shy Guy. So let's actually go back a little bit further. So over here, you're going to take a look at the UI. Uh, it, it does look full 3D like we've seen in previous Paper Mario games. You do have like a little knapsack over here, which is probably like your items, and your HP 50 out of 50. You'll notice over here in some of the screenshots says that there's going to be a one-up life over there, which is probably an item that you're going to eat in order to revive yourself in case you get lost to zero HP. So we'll keep that in mind. Uh, right over here is where you're going to see, I think this is going to be the plaza, but you're going to find a whole bunch of paper mache enemies that are gigantic. And we'll see a little bit more of that when we visit the, the websites. Uh, and like, of course, the ending with the paper mache Samus helmet. So that was interesting. So um, it's eating it. So you can see that that's probably one of the plot plot points of the game is there's going to be a whole bunch of giant paper mache enemies and they're going to be like eating away at the entire town here. And then it's up to Mario to stop it. Um, this over here is Olivia. Now, Olivia is Ollie's brother, and we found that out through the Japanese site, so stay with me on this one. This one's Olivia, and uh, just like in previous Paper Mario games, she's going to be your little helper character. No word of if she's going to have actual partner abilities in the game, because I couldn't really see anything like that. So, um, I mean, this is kind of saying, hey, well, I'm bob -omb. Like, maybe if this is an NPC, or if we're going to have, like, another awesome bomb partner character. Nobody knows, but one can only hope, am I right? So uh, you'll also notice over here, kind of what I talked about earlier, we have the one-up uh, mentioning, saying that, hey, you know what, you ate this item, and therefore you're most likely going to revive on uh, one HP or something like that if you lose all of your health. And if you take a look over here, there are overworld enemies that you can most likely jump on top of to get an advantage in battle. Um, there's really nothing else I can see in this picture besides a little area. So uh, we'll also notice over here that we got Blue Toad and a little hat, and then we do have this bob -omb. So this is kind of saying that maybe he's a partner or maybe he's just an NPC that tags along because in this little section here, we are riding down collecting coins on a little boat along with Olivia and this Blue Toad that somehow uh, managed to join us. So uh, you can see over here, this kind of reminds me of Super Mario RPG where you're going down like the, the waterfall and you're on a barrel and you're like moving left and right. This obviously shows that you can't get hit uh, five times or else maybe it's like game over for the section. You may have to try again. So your your little boat has five health points over here. And then uh, it also says throw confetti, um, which is interesting. I don't know why I would say throw confetti with ZR. Why would you want to do that? But hey, maybe it's just to, to show. And it also says move and jump too. So that's also really, really interesting. So uh, that being said, let's uh, let's take a look again. <clears throat> over here, so this is going to be called the, uh, I think the 1000 arm something ability. Uh, we'll find out on the site later. But this is going to be your main way of interacting with everything in the environment. He's going to stretch his accordion arms and you can peel things and you can do other things. So more on that a little bit later. Uh, this is uh, Kamek over here and I'm not honestly sure. I'm not honestly sure what the heck, that, that could be Olivia or it could be a different one, but you guys can tell me in the comments who you think that is. Bowser Jr. Uh, we also see some uh, different like Egyptian looking caves with some toad portraits over here and we got Yellow Toad, uh, the excavator with the little shovel and then uh, we're wondering exactly what this little silhouette is going to be. Uh, this over here is going to be the desert area outside of the Sniffit Bazaar. And we've seen a little bit of the Sniffit Bazaar a little bit later. So we can see over here that Mario is in like a little shoe, which is kind of like Super Mario 3, like the Karibo shoe. So I think that that's pretty interesting that they maybe brought something like that back. There's a little bit of a shiny spot over here. So maybe you get an item. There's a pokey that you can probably run into. Probably a treasure chest over here, a little tower. There's a whole bunch of things. So I love the free roam about it. Free roam looks great. Um, there's a little bit of Indiana Jones chase scene. These little paper airplanes, no idea what's going on with those. Uh, there's obviously confirmation that the save blocks are back. So very cool. This thing's rolling. Another Indiana Jones thing. What it was over here was a little bit more about the thousand arm ability outside. So you're going to be able to, I don't know, it looks like maybe you lock onto it. And then with the Joy-Con controllers, you just go like that. 
in order to pull on it. And then that allows you to pretty much walk from the, the top area here, walks all the way over, maybe uses this, and then you could probably jump across this way and then jump over to the other umbrella in order to get something. So there's gonna be some environmental um, puzzle solving skills. This is interesting. This is more along the lines probably inside the uh, the desert area, maybe like the Sniffit Bazaar area. There's different maybe bosses, maybe different puzzles that you have to solve. No clue, but it looks great. Uh, this one looks pretty interesting. There's cheap cheap all over the place, a gigantic cheap cheap, uh, some cheap cheap in the water. This is just Mario fishing for it. You can see that Mario over here was uh, holding onto a fishing pole. And then he's got like a little Koopa Troopa and a question mark block. So you'll probably have to do some fishing at one point. I don't know if it's gonna be like real interactive fishing, but anyway. Uh, uh, next over here is going to be uh, pretty late in the game considering you have 150 HP and uh, this is what the battle system is. So you're going to be able to uh, take a look over here. You have a timer on board and I guess you can press the plus button to buy even more time and you have uh, a timer on how fast you have to beat the battle. So that's interesting to me that they put a time limit on there. Um, other than that, you'll notice that you're going to need to select the inner rungs of every single one of these rings in order to maybe move the opponents and line them up so that you can do like a straight shot hit at them. So that's kind of interesting. Um, yeah, so anyway, so you can see over here that he moved the circle and then lined up all four of these in order to get 50% more power on his next attack. So you can see that over there, pretty interesting. This is the Sniffit Bazaar I was talking about. Kind of reminds me of Shy Guy Bazaar from Mario Kart 7. So you'll notice those Sniffits all over the place. Uh, you got them over here. This one looks like a little shop, a save icon. So maybe you can buy some like mushrooms and health restoring items over there. Some black Sniffits, yellow Sniffits. It looks like a nightclubs over here. And we'll see some more nightclub stuff. This reminds me of The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Open the C chart, do you see that over there? And then using boost. All the way over that way using boost in order to like go faster it's like wind waker also there's going to be uh, pressing down on the d-pad allows you to dive so maybe there's going to be underwater treasures or something like that an island that's in the shape of a mario question mark like that's super cool uh, yeah, don't really know what else we can also see over here that this is where you I think you infiltrate Bowser's castle and you rescue him because he was over here earlier in the trailer on this little paper clip uh, or yeah, clothesline, whatever you want to call that thing. And then he's just kind of scooting around. So this does indeed look like Bowser's castle again. So you're moving through here and you're jumping over fire. So this one is probably what is going to get a lot of the entire fan base a little bit upset. It's the shiny boots. Now there was something in the previous Paper Mario game called Shiny Jump and that was Sticker Star where the game's battle mechanics were based off of finite items where in order to use it, you had to actually spend a specific ability and then you had to collect that again or buy more of them and it didn't really go too hot within the community some people liked it yeah sure but people like the traditional way of hey you want to do jump choose jump it's not like there's a certain power point or a currency that you need in order to get the amount of jumps so a lot of people might be upset with this but i ask you guys that you just hold your reservations this just might be a, a new item that you get a little bit later on in the game that's a stronger pair of boots that is a little bit better than your regular boots. So hold your reservations. Anyway, shiny boots over here. This is going to be a battle where again, they aligned up everything over here and they're gonna jump one, two, three. Um, yeah, they didn't do all four, but that's okay, it cut. But in previous Paper Mario games, if you press the A button right before you land on them, you're gonna do you're gonna do way more damage. Hence the whole excellent meter over here. So that's great, that's back, I love it. It rewards people paying attention and doing things absolutely perfectly, so I love it. And I also love the little um, the little toads talking in the back there, so really cool. Uh, right over here shows a little bit of ninjas in some sort of like castle with a thwomp. I don't really know what exactly is going on with this, but it was kind of interesting. You know, you got a thwomp over here, Olivia, uh, and then Mario probably got like ninja starred by the little ninjas, so that's cute. They're just all chilling on top. No idea what this is. This looks like it's underneath the the nightclub, just by the way the lights look. A little bit of ribbon. Uh, this is the icon for Ollie. It obviously looks like that. And then some sort of weird yarn monster. I couldn't even tell you. Uh, right over here, you've got some sort of airship that everyone's on top of. You got some spikes. Spikes are over there. You got Kamek, Mario. You got Bowser Jr. on a little airship. And then all these spikes get launched off over here. So that looks great. Airship. Cool, right? Uh, this was some sort of weird turtle, uh, some sort of turtle boss that you found underground that you somehow landed on top of. So that's really interesting. 
And then, uh, yeah, it shows a little bit more. Things are, like, coming from on top. Uh, this is, like, something being built. Kind of looks like Tetris blocks falling on top of this castle over here. Uh, so, yeah, that, that's pretty interesting. Not really sure what's going to happen, but, yeah, that, that's very exciting. So this one's uh, available July 17th. You guys can count on me playing the actual game uh, right around that time. It's going to be so much fun, so I want you guys on board. Hit that subscribe button. So, I know, we're already at, like, 15 minutes into this, but there's a lot of things to cover, so we're going to keep on going a little bit further. Uh, this is interesting over here. This is, like, um, I don't know, maybe you go into a storeroom and you find all the paper mache items. You'll notice over here that uh, Blue Toad is in the trash, so we're going to have to dig him out. But you have your little partner character, bob -omb, and you have Olivia over here, as well as a DK mask and a little Goomba mask. So I honestly wouldn't be surprised if this is a part of the plot, where in order to blend in, you'll need to um, wear one of these masks and go from there. And then there's a blue toad over here, too, along with one in the trash. So, yeah, I'm curious. Maybe you might have to blend in. So, anyway, that's that. <laughs> That's a lot of things. It, if I missed anything in the trailer, please let me know in the comments. All right, so let's take a look over here. Now, I, I dropped a lot of information on you that wasn't revealed in the trailer, and I got that information straight from this website. You guys can see over here, papermario.nintendo.com. So right over here, a new crafted paper, Mario Adventure, unfolds. Uh, the, the kingdom has been ravaged by an origami menace. Join Mario and his new partner, Olivia, as they team up with unlikely allies like Bowser and the Toads to battle evil uh, folded soldiers. We can see over here that the Goomba, they just want to fold you guys. Um, here's a little bit more about the ribbons coming through. This one's jumping over the fire. A little bit more about Yellow Toad. And then this is where like all the paper mache things just come and like, destroy stuff. So giant paper mache uh, shy guy and uh, a whole bunch more fun things. This one's a little bird's eye view of the Sniffit Bazaar. There's a gigantic chain chomp that's going to probably run after you in a jungle area with Kamek. Uh, this is the a ship that is most likely the ship that you're going to be on the seas, just like in Wind Waker. Uh, we have a little area with Kamek, and I don't really know what's on his back over here. But maybe that's a new partner. Maybe that's just a scroll that he's carrying. And we do have piranha plants, especially the ones that, you know, keep the little spike balls up. So that's awesome. Um, Ta-da, how do I look? This is in the pool again. We saw that from the trailer. There's another thing from the trailer. And then this is uh, showing them chilling out. So this bomb character is going to be with you for quite some time. So I hope that he's a partner character. Like, really, I do. All right, moving on. Try to free Princess Peach's castle uh, from the clutches of the Evil King Ollie in this comedy field adventure only on Nintendo Switch system. All right, so this is the Evil King Ollie. You can see the crown and then his little uh, parted hair. It looks like Rosalina. <laughs> anyway, this is the new ability for uh, Mario here. This is called the Use the 1000 Fold Arms ability to extend your arms and interact with the uh, environment and solve puzzles in battle. Line up scattered enemies and plan your attack to maximize damage to the new ring-based battle system that requires both puzzle solving and quick wit. Keyword there, quick wit. There's a timer. So this is interesting. We saw this from the trailer, pulling it down. This is the battle that we saw uh, having the ability to rotate. And then we also have uh, this right over here, jumping on for excellence. Now, speaking of the battle, the Japanese, uh, the Japanese site actually gave us a little bit more insight as to what the battle system looks like. So allow me to play this right for you. All right, so this is from the Japanese unlisted video from the site over here. Uh, we're going to see this in its full glory. And I'll show you guys exactly what's up. So this Goomba's over here. You're going to choose the second ring. You're going to rotate it over. And then now you're going to get 50% more power. And then what's interesting over here is that you choose what ability you want to use. One, two, three, excellent, four. Knock them all off and you get like the excellent uh, flex right over that way. So let's see this again. There's one thing that I do want to show you uh, right over here is exactly this. So... I'm honestly on the point where I don't think there's going to be stickers in this game. It's literally you have an item and that's the icon that they chose for it. Hence the mallet over here if you want to use the mallet or the boots, the regular boots if you want to jump. It doesn't seem like there's a specific number next to it, like how many you purchase, how many you have on hand, like in Sticker Star. So honestly, I think that all of you guys can calm down about that. This is going to be fine. Um, yeah, I honestly don't know what the L and the R buttons mean. Like, what are, you, what are you switching from? Maybe you're going to have special moves. Maybe you're going to have things from Paper Mario uh, Color Splash. I don't know. Uh, but this is interesting. I like this a lot. And uh, you can see over here that you can use the boots, and then you can consecutively jump on every single one of these guys. Okay, great. So that's a little bit of uh, keeping you guys on board with that. Um, this was exactly taken from the Japanese trailer, uh, and you got from that. So let's close this and keep on going. 
Um, here we go. So digital edition, $59.99. You can pre-purchase it, download it, of course. Super easy to do. And then uh, retail edition, et cetera, et cetera, customer support. Okay, so that was the English site. Now there's a lot more information. Oh my gosh, there's a lot more information over here um, inside the Japanese site. So let's take a look at that really quick. So Japanese site over here uh, shows the movie. This is the exact trailer. There's probably like two frames that are a little bit different. I did a side by side earlier off screen. Nothing really worth mentioning. So you can watch the Japanese trailer over here. Um, yeah, this one looks great. Uh, what I want to do is I want to show you some really cool stuff. This is, uh, it's showing pretty much Ollie. You can click on this to learn even more. Um, there's more characters over here, like Swoopers make it, a little Buzzy Beetles are there, Hammer Bros, Paracoopas we didn't see earlier, and then uh, all the, the cast and characters. We'll also see some different areas. These are like the screenshots that we saw earlier. Really nothing too crazy. Um, this one over here is the little bomb mom. Wherever he goes, Mario meets characters with unique personalities. Laugh, cry, spend time together, and say goodbye. Ooh, say goodbye. Yikes. All right, this one over here shows his little arms and his hammer. Um, this in, this is interesting. I like this because like we haven't seen a tree stump. What is he going to do with the tree stump? Like completely smash it down? That's kind of what it looks like from this. So Kami's hand is what they call it, and I guess in the Japanese version, and you got hammers. This is showing the, uh, the battle from uh, what I showed you guys a little bit earlier. And then we're going to click to the next page of this. So this is interesting. Uh, there's a lot of... Okay, so just watch this video in the corner here and see that like... Mario and Luigi come in on their standard cart from Mario Kart and then they notice that the entire Toad Town is completely empty. So that's kind of like one of the things like, hey, they're coming over on board. Like, what's happening? This is probably the beginning of the game. Like, where are all the Toads? Why is the drawbridge up over there? Like, we got to figure this out. And then, yo, on the standard cart from Mario Kart. How cool is that? Good job, IS. Okay, uh, Peach's Castle, uh, Origami appeared and took the name. All right, Ollie, right? Ollie's the name. If you pay attention to this, you'll actually see that um, he takes the castle and he puts it on top of the mountain, which was not in the trailer. So that's a little bit more information that you wouldn't have gotten just by watching uh, the regular trailer alone. So pretty great. Wrapping it all up, everyone runs away. We can see that this is right at the beginning of the game, taking the castle, launching it. Uh, everyone gets knocked off. Bowser, oh, wow, you see that? So Mario and Olivia got knocked off the little clown car while Shy Guy and Bowser kept on flying away. So you're probably going to have to reunite with them a little bit later. Uh, so yeah, that's interesting. Did not really realize that. Okay, King Ali says uh, he will fold the world and friends and transform them into Origami Kingdom. From there uh, came the huge paper tape uh, of a distant mountain. Princess Peach's castle is carried away to the top. Right, so there we go. So he's like looking on the vista, like, like in... Mario uh, RPG, right? Looking in the vista at the castle. So cool. Uh, next over here, you get a little bit of things. This is where we learned that Ollie's sister is Olivia. So it's brother and sister. And that's a great story point, right? It's a great plot point. Here's Mario. Um, yeah, trying to get uh, Peach's castle with Olivia. Uh, works with Mario to stop uh, stop his brother. Okay, that's interesting. Um, right over here, Origami calls himself the king. Trying to remake the world into an origami kingdom. And then uh, Bowser gets turned into this. So that's also very interesting. Guys, that's all I got. That's all I got right now. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this real big breakdown. Did you guys notice something that I didn't notice? Let me know in the comment section below and let's continue the discussion. Thanks so much for being here. And like I said earlier, if you guys want to be a part of me playing through this game live on YouTube, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I tell you, I cannot wait for this. Also, would you guys like me to do a little bit of Road to the Origami King where we played through the older Paper Mario games in order to get excited for this one? I mean, there's six Paper Mario games if you think about it. What? Paper Mario, Thousand Year Door, um, Super Paper Mario, Sticker Star, if you call Paper Jam a Paper Mario game, and then Color Splash. That's six games in like two months. We could possibly do it if you guys want to. Let me know. Let me know by smashing that like button. Shout out to all of you guys. Um, make sure you guys subscribe. You know what to do. Turn on notifications. Anyway, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.